anyone? What we discussed in the last class? Spring JDBC. Right, Spring JDBC. We have seen about Spring JDBC. So, which class is used for Spring JDBC? JDBC template. Class. Class. JDBC template class of Spring API. Is used for what? Spring JDBC. That is a major point we should think. Hello, Emma Bindu. Hi, Raj. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today we'll be going for the next module, important one, in simple, not a complex one, Spring Hibernate. So, which we even call it a Spring ORM module. Because we are connecting to ORM frameworks like Hibernate. So when you want to go with this Spring Hibernate, the class we are going to use here is Hibernate Template class. Hibernate Template class is used for template class of Spring API is used for Spring Hibernate module. So which class you have to remember finally Hibernate template class. Okay. So in order to make use of this Spring Hibernate, so we need to add some more dependencies into the pom.xml like this. So in a Spring project we are having this pom.xml, we need to add some more dependencies in order to go for Spring Hibernate module. That is one is uh, Spring ORM and one more is Hibernate libraries. Even we should add Hibernate libraries like this. Just you can copy this dependency. And one more we need to add even Hibernate libraries. So the first one is what? Spring ORM. Just here we have to say instead of CDBC, just say ORM. Then here we have to go with the next one hibernate org dot hibernate then the artifact id is hibernate hyphen code hello jyoti hello jyoti good morning yeah good morning jyoti so we are good discussing morning. about Spring. Yeah, good morning. We are discussing about Spring Hibernate module today. So in order to make use of Spring Hibernate module, we need to add these two dependencies. We need to add these two dependencies into pom.xml like this. These two dependencies. Okay. One is Spring ORM and one more is Hibernate Hyphen Core. Okay, these two dependencies are required. Okay. Document here. Save it. In order to update your dependencies, so in order to use Spring Hibernate, add the following dependencies. Into pom dot xml of Spring project. So these two are the dependencies we need to Next one. So which class we use for developing Spring Hibernate applications? Hibernate template class. This point is very important for us. Hibernate template class. So first of all, what is this ORM means? ORM stands for? Object relational model. Object relational mapping. Yeah. Object relational mapping. So what we do in this? So we take an object of a class, a job in our project class, and we want to persist that object into a table. 
Okay, so playing with objects here. That is the need of playing with ORM or hypermap. So let us understand this with an example application. So in this, create a project class. Let me call it as employee or any other name you can take. In com dot spring package. Com dot spring package. I hope we are not having employee class. Okay. So create a project class employee in com dot spring package of spring project. Refer program employee dot. So let me create this. So in this spring project, you can find this com.spring. So right click on this com.spring. And it's a new class. So we are giving the name as employee. The page. Go with the properties. Like private int id private string name private double salary set us and getter methods let's so your project class is ready then whenever you go for project class what is our next step we need to create a mapping file, right? I hope you remember Hibernate. When you go for Hibernate, we have, we have to go with what? We have to go with a mapping file. So create a mapping file now. Create Hibernate XML mapping file. Let me call it as employee.hbm.xml in src folder of Spring project employee dot hbm dot so let us create this file so here src under spring project you can find the src folder right click on it and say new other xml file and give the name as employee dot hbm dot then take the template of mapping file, which I have already shared when we are discussing about Hibernate. So we require only the mapping file template here. So the root tag of mapping file is Hibernate hyphen mapping. Here we start writing the code like this. Class name equal to com dot spring dot hyper employee referring to the table name employee okay. go with the id id name equal to id referring to the column id okay. other properties property name equal to name referring to the column name one more property salary referring to the column salary that's it. clear this mapping file Jyoti Himabindu yeah yeah right Monica Soumya yeah, yeah. Srujana Vinila yeah yeah right the next step is what we have to create a bean class, spring bean class, the major one. Create a spring bean class. Let me call it as employee DAO in com dot spring package of spring. A refer program employee DAO. So this is the major one for us.
So right click on com.spring and see new class. Employee DAO. So which class we use it for Spring Hibernate module? Which class we use it for Spring Hibernate module? Anyone, just now we discussed. Hibernate template. template. Right, Hibernate template, right? So create a property now. Hibernate template. And say template. Okay, so import the package. Hibernate template. So now set the value for this. Public void. Set a template. Which takes an argument. Hibernate template. Here we read the code. This dot template equal to template. So from where we have to inject the value to this template property? By using which file? What we have to do now? How to inject the value to this property? Using By using Spring Bean. Very good. Spring Bean configuration file. By using string bin configuration file, we should inject the value to this template. Okay, so let us see that is the major part now again. So create string bin configuration file. Let me call it as spring hyphen hibernate any name dot xml in spring project. Right click on Spring Project and see new other XML file. So we are giving the name as Spring Iphan Ivernet dot XML. Any name. Take the template of this configuration file. So the root tag is beans. Now to start here, bean id, bean id equal to, uh, we are going with the bean id like uh, emp, referring to the class com.spring.employeeDAO. So in the in the test class, when you refer to the bean id emp, it returns the object of employeeDAO. EmployeeDAO contains how many properties? Two. Hmm? Employee DAO contains how many properties? Two properties. See, now C and C. Oh, only one. Okay, one. Only one. Right? Employee class contains two properties. Okay, let's suppose the class. Okay. Three properties here. Employee goes with three properties. ID, name, and salary. We are not worried about that. The bean classes are important. Okay, so how many properties it contains? Only one property template. It's of type Hibernate template. So, and the value is given using setter method. So we have to use which element here? Property element. Property. Property name equal to, what's the name? Template. Reference equal to template. Reference name is your wish. But when you are creating the bean, you have to give the idea as what? Template. Template. This template is supported hibernate template. Support I forget hibernate template. And hibernate template belongs to the package org dot spring framework dot orm dot hibernate core dot hibernate template. You can take the package details here. Okay. okay. Now in this hibernate template it contains uh, the major property like session factory and one more check write operation. Property name equal to session factory reference equal to session factory. So, 
we have to go with one more property here. Property name equal to check right operations. Check right operations value as false. Okay. So these two properties we need to include in this hibernate method. So the major one is this session factory. Where you are referring to session factory means we have to create one more bean. ID equal to session factory. So this session factory, it's a property of what type? It? it belongs to the class local session factory bean. So session factory is it's an it's a type of what? Local session factory bean. This local session factory bean belongs to the package org dot spring framework. We need not remember the package names, okay? ORM dot hibernate core dot local session factory bean. In this local session factory bean, it goes with the properties like property name equal to data source, where we refer to data source to get the database connection. It goes with one more property. Property name equal to mapping resources. Property name is what? Mapping resources. Okay. So where this mapping resources is used to refer to the mapping files. So what is the mapping file we have created in our application? Employee.hbm.xml. So we have to provide that list. So in this we can go add multiple mapping files. What is the name of the mapping file? Employee.hbm.xml. So we can add multiple elements here in the list and we can go with multiple values. So one spring configuration file can refer to multiple mapping files. Clear? You may be the Jyoti up to you. Yeah. Right? Monica Samya? Yeah. Yeah. Is it not vanilla? Yeah. Right. Raj, when we uh, can we connect Spring with uh, struts like this? Hmm? Use, uh, can we use struts in Springs? Yeah, we can use, but I too don't have idea on that. But uh, no, maximum ninety percent people will not use that uh, Spring uh, struts. Okay. Why? Because uh, by using Spring only, we can develop that MVC applications. Okay, fine. So there won't be any requirement of uh, stats for them. So we are in separate model Spring MVC, which we discuss tomorrow. Okay. But we can do that integration. Integration is also possible. That I'm having idea, but I never worked on that. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. I'm just asking about the integration. That's yeah, yeah. It is possible. That is possible. Yeah. yeah. Next one. Hello, Soumya. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Clear up to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So the next one, your, your so local session factory bin goes with one more property. One more property name, like Hibernate properties. Hibernate properties, where we go with the list of properties, like property key equal to Hibernate dot dialect. We have to provide the dialect details. So what is the dialect for MySQL? org dot hibernate dot dialect dot MySQL MySQL. dialect. Okay. The next property property key equal to hibernate dot hbm to ddl dot auto. So I'm going with create. Create. So it's going to create the table internally. Okay. One more property. Property key equal to hibernate dot show SQL. True. Right? These three hibernate properties. That's it. That completes our local session factory bin. So local session factory bin goes with the totally three properties. One is data source. And one more is mapping resources, and one more is hibernate. Properties. 
further improved. The mapping resources will refer to the list of mapping files we are using. Hibernate properties will refer to the Hibernate properties, like dialect, the HBM to DDL and shows. Now we are pending with what? One more property, what is this? Data source. We have to do the database connection. So go with the binary. Binary equal to data source. Referring to the class driver manager data source. This one belongs to the package setting. Or is it a spring framework? Dot JDB is a data source. Dot driver manager data source. Which goes with the totaling four properties. Property name equal to driver class name. Yeah. The value is Com dot mysql dot Property name equal to URL. JDBC colon mysql colon slash slash local host colon three three zero six slash Java fourteen. Property name is username. Value is root. One more property, password, values, that's it. So with this, we complete our Spring Bean configuration file. Right, everyone? Any questions up to you? No. No. Okay. Now let us come back to our employee DAO. Then, so once we refer to the Bean configuration file, now your template is ready with all the values, like what is the mapping file we are using? Which database you have connected? Okay, all the details are now present in this template. Template property. Then, now do the crude operations. So, let us go with the first one like public void save employee. Save employee where we pass the object employee object. Where we pass the object and object. Now, what we want to do, we want to save this object. Okay, so for this, you can go with session factory sf equal to sf equal to we have to call this method template dot get session factory. That's by using template object, you have to say template dot get session factory. Then same steps session s equal to sf dot open session. Transaction px equal to s dot begin transaction. That's it. Now, by using session object, persist your object using save method. Then commit your transaction. That's it. that completes our save employee. Clear? Jyoti Yeah. Okay. Right? Monica Savia? Yeah. Sujana Vinila? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, next is one. Update. Update employee. Update, update employee with a given ID. And we want to change the salary. We want to change the salary. For that, you can say it. Same steps. Then you can say employee a equal to s dot get of employee dot class with the given ID. What is the ID you are passing to this method with the given ID? We are picking the record from your employee table for the given ID. Go with casting. Then once you pick up the record with the given ID into this E, change the salary. E dot set salary with a given salary. That's it. Then 
we have set the salary to the object. Then update this. Sort update by using the method s dot update and pass your object. That's it. And commit your transaction. Clear with this, all of you? Yeah. Right? Next one, delete. Delete employee with the given ID. Then you can see employee equal to s dot get of employee dot class with a given ID. Go with casting. Then say yes. S dot delete dot. That's it. Your object will get deleted. Okay. So that completes our delete operation. Then finally, list. List is very simple. Here. Public list employee list employees. So when you call the method list employees, just you can say return template directly. We can use template object dot load all. It contains the method load all and pass your class. That's it. It's going to return the list of employee objects. Dot list. That completes our list employees operations. Clear all the crude operations here. Jyoti Himabindu. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Monica Samya? Yeah. Yeah. Sujana Vinila? Yeah. Yeah. Now finally what we have to do? We have to create a test class to test our application. Create a test class. Spring Hibernate test. Com dot spring package. New class spring hibernate test. It main method. Okay. Load the Spring Bean configuration file. How to load? Bean factory. Factory equal to new XML bean factory. New file system resource. Spring hibernate. Not the next one, employee DAO. You can say something like DAO equal to factory dot get green. Factory dot get green. What's the name we have used? It? EMP. Okay. Let, let me check. Yeah, we have given EMP. Factory dot get pin EMP. So when you refer to this factory dot get pin EMP, it returns the object of employee DAO. Then by using this DAO, we can call the methods present in employee DAO class like this. You can create object of employee. Set the values. Then once your object is ready, just by using this DAO, call the method save employee and pass the object here. That's it. That completes our operation. Run this code. So your object has been inserted. Same message.
Raj, we are giving duplicate values. But we have city are create, right? Yeah, okay. You have said create. So when we say create, uh, it should create the table. So you should not worry about drop it. And it will drop the table. DDL. The spelling was mistake. DDL. Oh. That's that's it. Since yesterday, I'm doing the same mistake in every place. So that directly I'm coming to this. Okay, so we are reading the table now. If you check your table now, so we have inserted the record. Got it, everyone? The insert operation? Yeah. Right? Now I should use the existing table. So immediately, what I have to do before I go for the next one, operations, we have to make this file as update. Right? Don't forget. Yeah. Now let us go for the update operation. So for this, let me keep this part of code in comments. Then say, do dot update employee with the given ID one one one, and we want to change the salary to ninety thousand. So previously it was eighty, now it is becoming ninety. Right now, if you check your table, the salary will change to ninety thousand. Got it, everyone? Let us go for the next one, delete. DO dot delete employee with a given ID. Then if you check your table, so there are no records in your table. Let us go for insert operation again. Let us insert some records into the table. So now we are having totally three records in the table. Now let us go for list operation. So in order to go for list operation, we use we call the method do dot list employees, which is going to return the list of employee objects. Employee, employee list, list employee. Employee list equal to DAO dot list employees. Then traverse your list of employees. Then say for list EMP colon employee list. Then say sys out EMP. That's it. Right, employee EMP colon employee list. Yeah. Run this application. So where we get with the class name along with hash code. So to go in readable format, we have to override two string method in employee class. So which are the object we are printing? We have to override two string in that class. Return ID space name space salary. Run the code. So where we get the list of employees. Clear? Jyoti Himabindu, how to go with this spring hibernate? Yeah, I have yeah. a doubt. What is the advantage of integrating hibernate with spring? So already starting day we discussed, uh, whenever you go for this dependency, 
So dependency is yeah. uh, dependency injection means loose coupling applications. This application goes with loose coupling, and the advantage is performance is very faster and robust applications. Okay. Robust when you develop it spring much more secure robust robust applications. Okay. So in future again if you are doing modification we can just go to the configuration and do it. same thing we as we are doing with uh, Hibernate also. But Hibernate is what only independent. But when you go, develop with the application with Spring Hibernate, we can go with business logic also. Here. Hibernate is only yeah. database country, but Spring is used for other models also. Okay. Okay. Right. But when you develop application with Springs, what is it? It is robust and loose coupling applications. When you go for loose coupling, performance will get increased, reusability will come more, and it is more faster than ordinary applications. Clear, Jyoti? Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Monica, Samia? Yeah. yeah. Shrujana, Vanila? Yeah, Raj. Right? So you have to do yeah. it very carefully. Many people are getting errors while doing the Spring Ibernet application. So do it very carefully. Follow the steps what are given in the document. Then you will be getting this very easy. Okay? So this is widely used in the applications. Okay, still people are so many people are not habituated with Spring Ethernet. People are still using Spring JDBC only in the applications. Okay, so if they ask you to convert to Spring Ethernet, you should be ready for that. Right. So that's about our Spring Ethernet module. Then in tomorrow's class, I'll go with the next one, Spring MVC. Okay, so tomorrow will be the last day for us where I discuss Spring MVC module. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to give some list of resources like some websites and YouTube tutorials where you can use that links and tutorials to enhance your skills much more. Good, good references I'm going to provide in tomorrow's class. So don't miss tomorrow's class. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jyoti, uh, you said you are having some problem with uh, stats. Yeah. Just a Raj, you can check tomorrow. It's my laptop is not working properly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So Thank tomorrow you. also we can send some small time. Yeah. So Raj, thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, Raj, I have a problem in Spring Framework. Uh, can you look at it once? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll make you present it. Yeah. Okay. I can show you your screen. Right. Yeah, when so I this is JDBC problem. Yeah, I'm getting this error. May I know what's the problem with this? Uh, once it's scroll, scroll this one. Okay. Or maximize console. Okay. No such bin definition. No bin name available with this code. In. Yeah, just to open this uh, XML file related to this JDBC.xml. Student, yes, you have given capital. Make it small. Green ID, student. Okay. Yeah. Now run the application. JDBC test. Yeah, class not found exception. Can you show that error? Oh. Class not asking to invert. Invert dot JDBC dot driver maybe dot is 
So you are using the Maven project, right? Yeah. Then pvm.xml, just show me that pvm.xml. So you have added this thing to the device, you can add it. Open this uh, Student get to the second view, can click and click. property name of taken data source, right? Yeah. This template the org dot spring from the dot database dot core dot database template right. Then data source org dot spring from the dot database dot data source. Data source you have given S capital class B N D data source. It's a package. Oh, it's not capital. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is okay. That's capital only right? because in reference you have given capital. But here, org dot spring framework dot jdbc dot data source. Jdbc dot data yeah. source. It should be small because it's a package name. Okay. It's a package name. Open the text. This one? No, no, no. Above, above. Just if you double click and cancel, I can see the full one. Yeah. And categorize the full group of statements. In the in the student, uh, error in syntax. Yeah. Go to this JDBC test, line number 14. So go to this uh, student database complete. Student database complete. Insert student uh, with ID name H. Insert into student. So is this uh, table student is available? Yeah. Is student? Yeah, you have already created. Yeah. Uh, I think the problem might be with uh, this URL. Is it? Okay with this URL. Oh, you did not provide the database. Ah, uh, that's okay. I, I didn't uh, give it as Java 14. I didn't give any name. This other laptop. Oh. So, so where, where you have created this database thing? Where you have created this table? In MySQL. Mm. Yeah. Um, MySQL I have created a table, but in which database you have created a table? So um, upset. MySQL code. This one. My, yeah, that one you have. Uh, I have yeah, given that, but uh, still I didn't get. Take it one second, spring. 
Uh, actually this is the question uh, they just uh, my friend just asked me a question like and we just did a program for that one and okay. this is after running the program it is getting like uh, uh, all the input is taking by itself right and if you okay. wanted to give an input by ourselves then what what we should do already we did no? we can go with this uh, scanner class and yeah. uh, everybody uh, is using to take input to by using buffer reader Yeah, yeah. I use buffer reader here. Yeah. Yeah. So by using so, buffer reader also, you can take the input. Yeah, I need to give an input at the runtime. So how is yeah, it right. possible? So we have to use a br dot read line. Oh. By using the method br dot read line. So and you can store it into so, some variable. So what type of variable so, you want to store? Yeah, here they they said like use random generator to generate ten integers between zero to hundred. Ten integers. Okay. Use random yeah. generator to generate ten integers between zero to hundred. So that is random generator yeah. is what that is not to accept the values. So randomly yeah. it has to generate. Yeah. So we have to use random so, class for this. Random method, not the dot random method. Oh, okay, so this is not possible. Random number equal to uh, here. I just created an object for this. Random. random. I guess that also yeah, we can make it possible, or we can use uh, random. You have taken from utility package. And uh, yeah. by next int, uh, you you are doing no number dot next int. Yeah. It's not storing right. Yeah. Here we should give br dot. No, 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 not required. Here in this uh, question, we are buffer reader is not required because they are not asking you to take the input from the user. So okay. they are asking to generate the input randomly. Yeah. Random by using random. By using random. Or uh, okay. random so, dot next in hundred. Yeah. Now, now. So the values will come in store into student of five. And you are finding the total of this, right? Yeah. And after that, uh, total points. Yes, it's it's but it should work perfectly. Yeah, actually, this is the right thing, right one or no? Yeah, yeah, ten numbers you have taken. So randomly, it will accept. Yeah. 
So in order to know what number it has taken, you can print that uh, uh, ran number dot next in that value you can print it. Or if you print a total student of I know it will print that. Okay. So if you so in this question actually we don't need to give uh, no input, input from input the user, from. right? No input from the user. Because okay. the question is use random generator. To generate yeah. an integer student zero to hundred. So randomly yeah. it should generate. What number it's going to generate, we are not having idea. So it is not okay. user input. This is okay. the program should generate the random numbers. So what you have done is right on Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Right. Yeah. Branch. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Oh, I have got that. Can you check my start program? Yeah, right. I'll make a present. Eh? Yeah. Rash, can you see my screen? Yeah, still no. Yeah, I got it now. This is the error I'm getting. Yeah, there is action mapping. Okay. Yeah. Show me the one by one because that is uh, something we have to see every line properly. So starting from index.jsp. Yeah. Index.jsp. This is your index.jsp and action name you have given hello, right? Yeah. Right. Then hello world action. Just, yeah. Uh, you have created in com that starts to okay. Hello world application you can get name, set name okay. Execute you have given success, capital S, okay. Remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one uh, hello world dot JSP, the JSP page. Here you have set SQL property value equal to name. Okay. Right. You have copied all the libraries into play folder, right? Yeah. Web in a flip folder. This is structure. Hello, world. You can in a uh, enlarge this. Start starting. Okay. Double click on this. Action name is hello class equal to com dot is this is small right com yeah what you type it is small only right yeah yeah small only right. com dot spreads two dot hello world application result name equal to success I said this is capital okay fine. Now slash we have to say slash hello world dot jsp result name equal to success uh, slash hello world dot slash slash we have to say okay it's again the same error. There is no action mapper for non namespace like that. Hmm. Can you enhance this uh, console? Expand okay. console. There is no action mapper with the uh, namespace slash. Okay, okay. That the namespace you remove it from start static somewhere. Start start it simple. Package name hello world and namespace. You can do it. Now run this application. Same error. I think the server did not start again. Yeah. Stop the server and start it again. Yeah. Stop the server. Then no, it's no, again the same error. Actually, in Apple, slash. 
So go to the statistics now. Now start the server. Run your application now again in the extra case. Okay. See you later. It's again, again and again. It's going to this namespace. It is remembering the previous one. Yeah. So what you do is that's you like a new it names. Yeah. What? Hello, Raj. Hachan name is uh, you have you have given correctly, right? Hello. Yeah. Um, is that C small only, right? I'm getting yes. confused. Yes, uh, it's small only. Uh, See you. Move it and type one second. Okay, I'll do it again. Yeah, right. Package name allowed, and every package extends that size and default spelling function. So what is the method you have used it in the Hello World application? Yeah. World application, yeah, just execute it, right? Yeah. 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 Open that web dot XML. Just no, I use that Apache web structure. I think that is not the right. This is okay. Some problem is coming with stat static similar only. Yeah. Even I kept this one. Uh, there more value equal yeah. to Yeah. Not required. That is option for us. Okay. You have copied all the jar files, right? You can show me that yeah. uh, by any click folder. Just a minute. Click folder. The common is so So before, when you are running the program, uh, this namespace is coming for, from the first time only, right? Yeah, it's coming for the first time. Uh, then I changed to namespace is equal to like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas package name should be capital. Nothing, 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 nothing. So do one small thing like uh, before equal to and after equal to remove that spaces. Here. In every place. Every place. Okay. Is does matter? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Let us check it. Okay. Right. This is okay.
same error like could not yeah. find the action or result. It's able to go to static XML file. Yeah. It's going to static XML because of that, we are getting action name. Uh, yeah, result name equal to success, and so we can. Remove that spaces. So do one small thing like uh, go with new workspace, go with new okay. workspace, and do the same process again as it is. Just to copy okay. it because the code is correct only. So still, if it is not working, yeah. just send me that that complete folder, the project folder. Oh. Make it as zip and okay, send fine. it to me. Okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, so you may not send jar files uh, through Gmail. If it is able to send, uh, no problem. If you are unable to send, you can use send space to send to the complete zip file. Okay, fine. Okay. Then I'll check every line of that part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thank you all. Thank you thank very you. much. See you all tomorrow.